Thomas. Drew Thomas. Drew Thomas. Drew Thomas. Drew Thomas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We hope you enjoy your feature presentation. This is Thomas the Tank Engine signing off. Goodbye and pickle suck. And cut. All right, that's wrap, everybody. All right, that was my finest work. I really appreciate it. All right. All right, see you, Thomas. See you, Drew. I've been known to love trains quite a bit because, well, trains are just so amazing. Everything about trains entertains me, especially the way the wheels move and especially the sounds of the train because, well, that's just the reason why I love the trains, the sound and the sight, watching the wheels turn, watching all the long cars bend. It's just so amazing. However, no train will ever pass the St. Louis Zoo. I bet you wonder why I love the St. Louis Zoo, not just because of the train, because I'm going to tell you why. Whenever I'm having a very bad day, I go onto my computer and I always go onto my I always go to Google Chrome to search up my favorite place in the whole world. Not Six Flags, but a little something better than it with animals and only a few rides, but still it's childhood. It's a little something I like to call the St. Louis Zoo. You see, um one thing I have to know about it is that it's open every day except for Christmas and New Year's Day. And it's, the mission is free, but there are some frees for attractions like the St. Louis Zoo Train. Oh, but believe me, it is all worth it. Whenever I'm in St. Louis, I love traveling down this road because I know what awaits me. My favorite place. Sometimes I wonder if we'll actually get to go there. One time, you know, we were tricked into going to the Sam's Club, but actually, where we were actually going was this, what's my favorite place? the St. Louis Zoo. Then eventually, right as we head down Hampton Avenue, we are in this section in which, you know, there's a suspension bridge hanging high over the road and a railroad crossing in which they have red beacons for lights. And that place is called the St. Louis Zoo. Animals always. Now, it's about time to tell you about this place now. Okay, now according to my St. Louis Zoo map, the South parking lot is located right here, and the North right here. In which, I prefer the South because, you know, it's where you can see, like, the zoo itself. However, with the North, you can only see, like, a building. In which, you know, inside that building is the entrance to the zoo. You go through the gift shop, and then you're in the, you're in the North entrance. My favorite section of the zoo is River's Edge, and there... And also Discovery Corner, but, you know, now they're they're adding in a new exhibit of the Children's Zoo, and they're closing for one last time. I don't get why they're closing, but still. However, the main attraction of the zoo is always the best, it's always the rides. There's a 4D theater, a conservation carousel, and my favorite one of all. The Emerson Zoo Line Railroad. Tracking smiles for over 55 years, and still tracking me some smiles. The St. Louis Zoo train is my favorite part of the St. Louis Zoo, because it's so awesome. I love the Emerson Zoo Line Railroad. I remember when I was a kid, I would always get impatient, begging mom to take me on the train now. Eventually, we would get a train ride, but now I'm an adult, I pretty much just, you know, go on the train whenever I feel like it, and I board and reboard, and I take a few laps around the, you know, the, like, whole railroad. I also plan on making these characters in Drew Thomas, and they're going to interact with Thomas the Tank Gen, PBJ Otter, and more. In fact, they're also going to be permanent characters later in the series. I think that the best parts of the railway are the crossings, because people are waving, and the tunnels, because everyone cheers as they go into the tunnel. Especially the first, the second tunnel, because there's a mural in it. And always just passing by the people, and everyone is just having a great time. This is my favorite part of the zoo. If it hadn't been for the St. Louis Zoo, I probably wouldn't have gotten into trains. I probably wouldn't have been the way I am today, and I probably wouldn't have been able to, you know, 
be a great YouTuber, but, you know, the St. Louis Zoo made this possible. I begin, like, thousands of views on my rail fan videos at the zoo, and I've been getting a lot of, you know, I, I just love visiting the zoo, and it's my childhood. Anyway, so, so if you ever go to, go to Missouri, the, your first stop should be the St. Louis Zoo. It is completely free, although there are fees for attractions, but, you know, if you just want to, you know, go to the zoo for a visit, you could just, you know, uh, you can just um, park somewhere along the road and then walk to the zoo. You won't have to spend a cent, unless if your car's low on gas. Anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, so if you like the St. Louis Zoo, then you're bound to love my content on Drew Thomas. Anyway, so this is Drew from Drew Tom Thomas saying, subscribe for more St. Louis Zoo videos and um, some Thomas Tangent videos and click the bell to be notified when we upload a new video. This is Drew from Drew Thomas saying, see you soon St. Louis Zoo, hopefully I can see you in springtime. And hopefully I can go to Six Flags again, because I'm, I still have my mindset on that. I'm hoping to get a season pass, but anyway, I do have pass, season passes for the zoo, but yeah. Anyway, so this is Drew from Drew Thomas signing off. Goodbye, St. Louis Zoo rocks, and people suck.